Are you the kind of guy that really digs a moving machine? Then dig this. I dig it, Don. I dig it. Since he started in 1964, Don Webster has had many assignments here at WEWS. He's done commercials, anchored the news, weather, and sports, and hosted its academic, the Ohio Lottery, and even some bowling and bingo shows. But you may also remember him for something else. Because when we talk about the musical legacy of WEWS, there's no escaping the name Don Webster. It's time for Upbeat! Well, I think it was successful because it was the first show of its kind on television that featured, you know, the rock and roll stars performing live. And now here's the popular host of our beat, Don Webster. Thank you very much. We have some very special guests with us on Upbeat today. Bobby Sherman is here. He'll be along in just a very few moments. I'm taking a shade out of the sun. Everybody came in and rehearsed in the morning, and uh, we got everything set up, and then uh, broke for lunch and came back and uh, did it just like a live show uh, during the afternoon. Taped it and finished sometimes at 4.30 or quarter to 5 and hastily rewound the great big two-inch tape and played it back at 5 o'clock. A good number of them came in from Detroit, Motown X, uh, a lot of the Black X, and then they played down at Leo's. And uh, this was a good stop for them because we're just down the street from Detroit. So they'd come in here and polish the act a little bit, you know, before they headed off to uh, Philadelphia and New York and some of the other places on the East Coast. <laughs> contact the record companies and want a big star and they'd say, and they'd say well you can have the big star but uh, in order to get the big star you have to have star B, C and D come in newcomers to the business. So as a result of that we had a lot of people come in uh, who went on to become big stars and they you know they started first with us so it was a win-win. You know, I look at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now and I see so many people who have been enshrined there, you know, who started on our show and I say, wow, you know, we worked with all those people. That was the last time that Otis appeared on television. And uh, that night he performed at Leo's Casino and uh, left late that night uh, for Wisconsin. And of course a plane went down with, uh, with the whole band, with the exception of one band member who fell in love in Cleveland on Saturday night and missed the plane or decided to catch up on Sunday. And uh, he was the only one to survive. So that was his last performance, and uh, we had it here. Well, that about uh, does it for this session of Bob Don Webster here, inviting you back again next week when we will be featuring Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, Spanky and our gang, Bobby V, the Happenings, Bobby Gentry, Jackie Wilson, the Outsiders, Peaches and Herb, the Five Americans, and all the regular gang. At its peak, the Upbeat show from Cleveland was seen in more than 100 cities every single week. 